I have a brand new box for us today. It's called Curiosity Box, Be Smarter. The subscription box for thinkers. Your Curiosity Box subscription helps brains around the world. A portion of all proceeds goes to Alzheimer Research and the Inquisitive Fellowship for Science Communication. Um, hurricane balls, and it looks like it's got a um, mirror with some items in it. This sounds like it would be a great box for homeschoolers. And here's the metal menagerie and the hurricane balls. Adventures in acoustics. So some light reading here. <laughs> so it looks like there's a bit of science there. There might even be a little bit of history in here. So not only can you do um, potential science experiment with this. You have some socks that you can wear later too. There's multiple little science experiments that you can do in this, with this box. With the, um, this is the Photonic Visualizer. I'm, I'm interested in trying um, some of the little uh, activities in this book. I'll let you know how it goes. Hi there, welcome back to my subscription box life. I have a brand new box for us today. It's called Curiosity Box. And on the side here it says, be smarter. So it's a, it says it's a box for thinkers, a subscription box for thinkers. So I'm not quite sure what this all is about, but we are about to find out when we unbox this together. I hear things clinking around in here, so I don't want to move it around too much, but let's get this open and we will figure this box out together. Alrighty. So I can already see something on the end here. Okay. So we have, this is what I'm seeing when I open it. Let me just check out the front panel here. It says, hi, I'm inquisitive, but you can call me INQ for short, Inc. Very cute. Your Curiosity Box subscription helps brains around the world. A portion of all proceeds goes to Alzheimer Research and the Inquisitive Fellowship for Science Communication. That is fantastic. I love um, subscription boxes where... Uh, they give back. So you feel like you are doing something good kind of indirectly with your subscription to the box. Okay, I have a feeling this is something maybe we're going to be building. We will find out as we get into it, but this is um, hurricane balls and it looks like it's got a um, mirror with some items in it. Okay, here's your little book. So let's see what we have. Okay, so it's got, let's see, a, so, so, a sonic photonic visualizer. So this sounds like it would be a great box for homeschoolers. Uh, this sounds very STEM oriented, science, technology, engineering, and math oriented. And so we have strange physics, fastest spin known to humans. Okay, so this, um, it transforms the invisible vibrations of sound waves into uh, incredible uh, Lissajou curves projected onto a wall or other surface. Hmm, interesting. So we're going to make a type of like a film projector of such sorts, but it's not film. 
So let's see what all we have in here. All right. We're going to make a metal menagerie. There's hurricane balls, I think, right here. So this has to do with, it looks like light and sound. Adventures in acoustics. Strange physics is the fastest spin known to humans. So it's giving you all these little pictures. So let me start from the beginning. So here's our um, sonic photonic visualizer. It looks like it has something to do with this mirror here. And here's the metal menagerie and the hurricane balls. Adventures in Acoustics. So I have some light reading here. <laughs> yeah, strange physics and the fastest spin known to humans. Hurricane balls. And this and um, lots of instruction. Not instruction, but um, possibly history behind this. Um, are those arms on your feet? Inks, octopus, socks. And the other page, um, conundrums of distinction. Metal menagerie. Very educational. So it looks like there's a bit of science there. There might even be a little bit of history in here. Okay, let's get out. What else? So we have the hurricane balls here. Uh, this must go for the with the socks. These are some socks. Cute orange color. <laughs> so not only can you do um, potential science experiment with this, you have some socks that you can wear later too. There's more. All right, this goes for the metal menagerie. So I'm starting to get the hint that there's multiple little science experiments that you can do in this, with this box, with the items in this box. So I have a blog, it's called mysubscriptionboxlife.com. Go there, I'm going to take up close pictures of, of all of these. And I'm going to read through this little booklet uh, more. And I will put a little, some additional information on the blog about this, uh, this subscription. And I might actually even test out some of the things in this, this um, booklet. So I will let you know how it goes. And if I can get some pictures, I will get some pictures of my little experiments. But um, I have a STEM degree. I have a master's degree in a, in a, a STEM field. So this type of thing is right up my alley. My son, our oldest son, is in college in a STEM degree as well. So I might be able to enlist his help with some of these. This, so it looks like everything in this box is branded um, by Curiosity Box, which is very cool. Um, this is the Photonic Visualizer. So I'm not quite sure where this, this comes in somehow. We'll, I'll figure it out as I get, get to doing this. But this is a quarterly subscription. So you would receive it once every three months. This is my first box. Um, it's, it's piqued my curiosity. I'm very curious. So I'm, I'm interested in trying um, some of the little 
uh, activities in this book. I'll let you know how it goes. I'm going to put a link to Curiosity Box down in the description too. So if you want to go check out their website, you can and find out a little bit more about them. Um, but in the meantime, go check out the blog and stick around because I have some more boxes for you. All right, I went through the box and uh, figured out how to use everything in this box. So these two things are brain teasers. So this one, I'll get it out of the box for you. This one, you are supposed to um, get the ball out of the cage. So it's just a little brain teaser. You have to work at um, getting these this spiky little ball free from its cage. So this is definitely going to be a stocking stuffer in our house. Um, I'm going to be giving it as a present. And this, as you can see, they're separate. This, um, these little balls, you are supposed to use to try to create a um, pyramid with it, like a, a three-dimensional pyramid with these. This, I can tell, is going to be very tricky. As you can see, there's different shapes. There's another shape. But all of these are supposed to be used to attempt to create a pyramid. So, oh, here's a little, this little triangle here helps you form the base of your triangle of your pyramid. So I'm not even sure. I'm going to have to work at trying to get these back. But this is also going to be a, um, a stocking stuffer. The socks, a study was done, and it shows that if you wear socks at night, you supposedly sleep better. So these two little socks... These are pairs of socks, so it's um, two pairs of socks were put in there for you to experiment on yourself to see if you sleep better or not with socks on. I, for one, know that I do not sleep better with socks on, so I'm an outlier in, apparently in this particular study. But these are, I'm going to give these to my sons and to have them do the little um, experiment to see if they think they sleep better with socks on or not. So, um, Go to the blog, mysubscriptionboxlife.com, and once they're able to do the experiment, I will update the blog to let you know what they thought of sleeping with socks versus not sleeping with socks. But um, these are cute little socks, so I don't think they'll mind wearing them. For the hurricane balls experiment, you have a mirror, and my mirror did come a little bit cracked, but it shouldn't affect the uh, experiment whatsoever. You have this, these are called hurricane balls. They are together, they don't come apart. You have a little metal straw and a light. And what you're supposed to do with this experiment is um, take the balls, they're supposed to spin around on your mirror at a very high rate of speed, like a hurricane spinning. And then you can make them spin faster by taking your um, straw and blowing into it. So if your um, hurricane balls are spinning in this would be um, clockwise direction, you would blow at it from the left to keep it spinning faster. 
if it's spinning counterclockwise, you would blow at it to the right to make it spin in the opposite direction. When you get the ball spinning as fast as they can go, you can shine the light on them and it will reflect light and you'll get a little light show with that. Um, this is a tricky one, I'll tell you that right now. Um, but that that's the uh, that's what you do with the hurricane balls.